The endoscopic thoracic transforaminal discectomy approach from Arthrex is an ultra-minimally invasive surgery ideal for patients with certain thoracic disc herniations. In this procedure, the endoscope is used to assist in the approach for access and visualization. The patient is placed in the prone position. Using an orthogonal AP fluoro image, draw a line at the midline. Then draw a line through the center of the disc. Next, from a lateral view, mark a line to the front of the disc space, giving an orthogonal view of the disc. Mark the apex of the rib, which is the lateral boundary for making the incision point and needle insertion. Insert the needle at approximately 35 degrees, depending on the location of the disc pathology. Make an incision along the introducer needle. Next, insert the guide wire and remove the needle. Insert the dilators while rotating. Next, insert the cannula while rotating with the open side towards the foramen. Remove the dilators and insert the endoscope. Use the cup graspers and the flex tip bipolar probe to identify bony landmarks and remove soft tissue to expose the foramen. Use a bird to resect a portion of the inferior pedicle to create a working channel for the endoscope and cannula. Next, if necessary to reach the midline, create a trough from the superior end plate to the inferior end plate through the disc and above the disc in the vertebral body. When the working channel has been created, the space underneath the cord allows for removal of any fragments ventral to the cord using a downward and outward motion. Confirm the decompression has been completed using direct visualization and palpation. The endoscope and cannula are then removed, followed by wound closure and placement of a jumpstart bandage.